What's good, y'all? Riley Beats here, and today, today we are going to be talking about three free VSTs that you need in 2023. You see what I did there? Three and 2023. Also, VST3. So, you know what? If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. That didn't really make sense, but let's get right into it. The first VST that I'm going to talk about, and you've probably heard of this VST, it is called Vital. You can get Vital completely free, but there are different packages you can get. Different packages just come with different presets, wavetables, and a few other features. You can also get a lot of these presets for free on places like Reddit and other websites. <clears throat> on top of that, Vital is a great tool for sound design, as well as it's a good alternative to Serum, because, you know, Serum costs money. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the user interface just because I'm very used to Serum by now, but the base design has a lot of great features and it's very interactive and you can see a lot of what's going on. Fun fact, all the visuals are in 60 FPS. So I loaded up one of the free presets and I just threw in one of the MIDIs from my Aerospace MIDI kit, which by the way, you can get down in the description below. And I thought it sounded pretty good, but here's how it sounds. It's pretty clean, but for me personally, I think the biggest benefit to Vital is its sound design. It's got a pretty intuitive interface and it's got a lot of tools that you can use just to get started in sound design or to keep sound designing. Now this next VST that we're going to talk about is called Layers and it's from Orchestral Tools. To use the Layers library, you will need the Sign Player, which is also completely free and the download pretty much starts when you go to download the Layers library. It's pretty interesting because the Sign Player gives me the same impressions as Contact and you can definitely see that with the different libraries and kind of the structure. Now layers is cool because it has a lot of good sounds in here, a lot of orchestral sounds. So for example, we can go into the orchestra here and you can click on this and it'll expand and it'll have the orchestra play, for example, a sustained major chord, or you can have a staccato minor chord. So if I just press C on my keyboard here, that'll give me a C minor chord, a staccato C minor chord. And this is great if you're making orchestral type melodies. And here's just a really simple example of something you can do with this. And obviously you can get a lot more in depth with that if you like. As well, there are a lot more presets than just the orchestral ones. You got woodwinds, there's brass, and there's also strings that you can use. The layers library obviously focuses a lot more on authentic instruments. And I definitely think it could be a great alternative to contact. And finally, the last VST that I will talk about is Infinite Space Piano. I know it looks a little bootleg, but it gives a great sound for electric piano kind of vibes. You have a few presets here like Fraction Keys, Morning Blue, Soft Melodies, Sound Cream, Tech Keys, Tiny Notes, and Underwater Dreams. And obviously you have a lot of settings that you can play with as well. And this can be a great free VST if you're trying to get some good piano sounds. And especially I like the Underwater Dreams preset for some more emotional piano. So I threw in one of the midis from my Aerospace MIDI kit, which again you can get from the description down below. And here's how this sounds. Another one of the great presets in here was the soft melodies. And personally, there's quite a few presets in here that I think are pretty good. But here's how the soft melodies preset sounds. And again, with every good piano VST, you should be allowed or able to play around with at least some of the effects or presets or just some of the mixing, just something in there. And this gives you some good tools with the tone. You can mess around with the ambience. You can mess around with the width, which width is very important for pianos. Another great feature, you can mess around with the attack and release, which definitely is something you should have. And this gives you some good tools to make some of your own presets that also sound really good. I need a haircut. Jeez. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Again, if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. And all the VSTs that I named will be down in the description below, so you can get those. The download links are down there. And again, peace.